when we have prolonged jaundice with direct hyperbilirubinemia, you look at the stool color. If the stool color is pale, your urgency is much more. But of course, this doesn't rule out. You still have to watch them. And uh, basal lab chemistry fasting is done and ultrasonography fasting is done. And you look at these conditions. Uh, you go on to go liver biopsy, scintigraphy or ERCP is not often done. If liver biopsy is suggestive, you go for intraoperative cholangiography and possibly CASI. And if uh, the stool color is normal, you go for basal, basal lab chemistry and ultrasonography. And you have to consider more of the non-obstructive conditions, but you cannot rule out obstruction. You may still need to do liver biopsy to exclude. In terms of management, we have vitamin K and multivitamins with higher dose of the fat-soluble vitamin because the fat absorption is deranged. You need high calorie intake as well as use of MCT to bypass the uh, lack of bile because MCT doesn't need bile for absorption. Also, deoxycholic acid helps in ameliorating the cholestasis, improves the bile flow. By improving the bile flow, it can also displace the toxic bile acids from hepatocytes, reduce the bile acid-related prorators in some of these babies. Uh, in older infants, rifampicin can be used to treat the prorators, though the mechanism is unknown. It's also possibly an enzyme stimulator in the liver and like phenobarbitone can be considered to use. Antihistamines are not very useful. And if medical treatment fails and pruritus is very severe, you may do a partial biliary diversion. So biliary drainage through a stoma or a partial ileal bypass the uh, bile duct taken into the ileal area. It can reduce the cholestatic pruritus. And there is treatment specific for the etiology, which will depend on whether it's a urinary tract infection, galactosemia, metabolic conditions, and of course, uh, CASI for biliary atresia. For the PFIC conditions, unfortunately, no specific treatment. It's only the UDCA, biliary diversion, and wait for liver transplant.